guys. I'm up. It is Saturday. And, um, I can't believe we are already in the month of March. But, yes, it is that time. I'm actually up early because I'm getting ready to cook some breakfast for the girls. I'm going to make some French toast. Um, I don't know if you guys remember my unboxing through the holidays. I actually bought a cookbook, um, from... J, I call it J Nice, but I think it's J Nice on Instagram. And I'm telling you, like, these are not just your average recipes. This is like what your grandmother will be cooking, like literally. And I think I read somewhere in the um, like, it, like in the uh, preface of the book, um, that she actually used to cook with her grandmother in the kitchen. So these recipes are so good. I actually went to the grocery store yesterday and got everything that I needed in order to um, cook things that I like and then also to really follow the recipes um, in this book. She has vegetarian, which I like. Well, vegan. She has vegan meals, which I like. Um, a lot of like salmon dishes and desserts. And she also has like um, cocktail drinks too. And you guys, I'll post a video right here of everything that I was like purchasing so that I can have all the ingredients. Yeah, so right now I'm going to make French toast. Let's see how it comes out. Ooh, it's nice and fluffy. Wanna taste? Wanna taste? All right, you guys, just a little break to show my face. So now I prepared everything pretty much. The only thing I have to do now is prepare what is called a compote. Um, I have to uh, do the strawberry mixture. Well, the berry compote mixture. Now I just have to put, yeah, whipping cream, vanilla extract, cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar um, for this, for that mixture. Oh my God, you guys, I had to do a voiceover and let you guys know this was so bomb. So I'm going to take this down and I will check you guys out in a little bit. Good morning, guys. I am actually sitting on my bed, getting ready to get into Shada, okay? Um, I want to, today, I need to do like some organizing, um really get to a lot of items like my makeup area it is literally getting out of hand so I want to get into that but yeah you guys so yes let me get started with my day um then I can feel a little more recharged have my floral play candle this has the room smelling really good I feel like this is good for morning and night because it has the floral scents love it all right, guys, so I'm officially done getting dressed. Now I decided to film, so I'm going to do my nails. And then I'm going to later do my organizing because I just, I really want to film. I'm like, okay, let me film some items that I've been holding on to and have not started to review them. There's one that I want to review, and there's one that I want to do a full face. So I don't know if I'm going to film two videos today. I was feeling like... I really wanted to organize, but then after I have got dressed, I was like, okay, I could do the organizing later. So I will film it. So I'm going to start now after I wash this dirty sponge, okay? And then I probably will 
edit it super fast and probably have it up in like a couple days. All right, good morning, you guys. It is Monday, so I am grabbing me a cup of blackberry citrus tea. And I am going to pour in my hot water. I'm going to let this settle for a little bit. And while the kids are still sleeping, I'm going to get to washing some dishes. As you can see, I was cooking all over the weekend. <laughs> so I have a lot of dishes to clean, to dry, and to put away. And so I just took this opportunity while it was really early in the morning before the kids wake up for school and to get some cleaning done and then prepare them for school later on. But right before I wake them up, I made sure to sit down, take a breather, and sip on my tea until I am ready to start filming. Ready to put on some makeup. Um, I wanted to put it on earlier, but as you see, I was trying to get some things done this morning, as well as a few other things I didn't film. But, um, yeah, so I want to just do some makeup before I leave out to run some errands. I need to go to Walgreens. I really, really need a new contour. And I want it to be a drugstore contour because I'm always getting the more expensive ones. But I want to try a drugstore one so that I can do my drugstore video. I'm supposed to be filming tonight. And I was supposed to be filming tomorrow, my drugstore. But I have so many videos to edit. I have two videos to edit and I have a vlog to edit. I filmed yesterday two videos, started my vlog at the at the over the weekend. So I don't know if I want to break that up into just like a weekend vlog, but it wasn't much I was doing. So then I ended up saying, okay, let me bring it into the week's vlog. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I break it up or if I keep it all together. So yeah, so pretty much I am struggling between editing and filming and trying to really push the content out. It's, yeah, it's a little hard. It's a little hard. You want to make sure that you're regular, you know, on schedule, on schedule. But it's kind of hard when you really got to push out that content and editing too. So to anybody who is a content creator, I feel your pain. The beautiful pain, I should say, because it's still fun. If you love doing these things, you, you don't mind it. But I think the part that really can get people to kind of get overwhelmed is really that editing part. The editing, I actually like editing because I like to see what I can do and like push my envelope and see where I can take it, which I know I can probably go further. So I know you guys can feel me out there if you, you know, if you're doing any type of content creating, digital creating. Um, whether it's um, no matter which area of digital creating it is, it is consuming. I need to set up my laptop because I really want to pull up. But I might watch it on my phone because my phone is closer. Let me get my uh, mirror. All right, you guys, I had to clean up my part before I start really going in. I'm waiting on something to be delivered through FedEx, and they're taking a long time. It's supposed to be here by 12, and I might have to call and see what's going on, okay? And you guys, while I do a makeup, I'm going to be listening to a doctor speak about um, how to grow your lashes, you know, very fast. That's what it says. Let me see exactly what the title is. Um, but I was in a two-hour Zoom meeting from like 9 o'clock all the way to 11 a.m., and so I ended up saying let me just watch it as I vlog and then you guys can hear it too and know some pointers on how to grow long thick eyelashes quickly and this is by Dr. Berg he's here on YouTube and um I've been following him for a while so I really trust his word I'll pull it closer Tell 
is a blue phase and a rest phase. And when people start either losing their eyelashes or they become small and very thin, there's a problem with one of these two phases. And there's a lot of different technical names for these conditions that describe them. But that doesn't really tell you what's really behind this problem. I mean, if we just take a look at the basics, we have the eyelash. What is an eyelash? Well, it's protein. What makes up protein? Amino acids. What makes up amino acids? Well, we have a combination of this biochemical reaction occurring with certain raw material, which one really important uh, factor would be trace minerals, okay? So you need trace minerals to make amino acids. You know, I always speak about skin care overall, like beauty all the time. I figured that this would be something good. Even So I went downstairs and got my other ring light. <laughs> and then I also found... My other clip. So, yeah, that's much better. All right, let's continue. Look up the mechanism of why someone would lose their eyelashes. It comes down to a deficiency of a very specific type of prostaglandin. I don't get too hung up on this word, prostaglandin. Um, prostaglandin is just a signaling molecule. It's kind of like a hormone. It's a, a, a message that travels to the body that tells the body to do certain things. And if you're deficient in a certain prostaglandin, you can have um, all sorts of uh, problems with growing hair, um, inflammation, and yet if there's other prostaglandins that you have too much, that can relate to things like headaches. For example, when you take an aspirin, what you're doing is you're blocking certain types of prostaglandins, and that's why aspirin works for headaches. But in summary, some of the medication that they use involved in growing eyelashes have to do with enhancing um, this deficiency of this specific prostaglandin called prostaglandin F2 alpha, if you really want to know. We're just going to call this PGF2 alpha. You guys, when I initially saw the title in, of this video, and I want to watch it so bad because it was talking about how to grow your eyelashes, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it from like a beauty enthusiast standpoint, you know? But really, he's coming from a nutritional standpoint. I should have, I mean, I didn't even think of it. He's a doctor. Duh. He's going to tell you what you need to do from a nutritional standpoint, from a health benefit point. I'm learning more than what I thought I would. I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, maybe he's going to give us some type of, um, you know, some type of shake that we should <laughs> drink. Or I'm thinking like, okay, maybe he is going to tell us about some type of serum. And really, he's going even deeper, you know? this uh, deficiency of this prostaglandin. One is an acid called resinolic acid. That acid can help correct that deficiency and help someone regrow their eyelashes. Huh. Not just not grow it, but it can actually thicken the eyelashes and then help the uh, texture to make them um, have the right oil uh, consistency. Ah. And two, zinc, and that is the trace mineral that uh, I'm leading up to. When you are zinc deficient, you can't make that prostaglandin. Now, remember I talked about trace minerals making all sorts of things like enzyme. This is crazy that I actually want to watch this because, um, and the reason what made me initially too want to watch it, of course, it says to grow your eyelashes quickly, but because I wear a lot of strip lashes and sometimes I get it so close to my lash and when I, when I take the lashes off, you might see one or two or three of your lashes really come out on the base of the lash, uh, false lashes. And so, um, I've noticed that, you know, I will have even glue, like literally clump of glue still right there. And then so I will pull that off. And then I think that I did this the other day and I never really saw that many eyelashes come off. I was like, okay, so it may not be due to me having this deficiency that he's speaking of. If I know mine come out a lot because of me using <laughs> these false lashes and it happens even if you get the extension lashes that's just what happens and so I always use uh, castor oil so when I take my lashes off um, I usually use castor oil and then at night I always use it on a you know eyelash brush I just have um, like one of these and then I dip it in there and then I just you know like use it that way so I try to keep using that castor oil nightly you know 
And that's probably why I don't notice much of a difference with my lashes. Like, I won't be like, oh, my lashes are getting too thin. They stay pretty strong and they grow back because I'm using the castor oil every night. <laughs> so let's continue it. I know I keep interrupting the video, but another thing. I just showed you guys my herbal tea this morning. I think it was a blackberry tea. I put, But anyway, I pulled out a herbal tea and it had zinc in there. And it was saying for immune health. And he's talking about it right now. So it was. it's just odd that I wanted to watch this. It's probably meant for me to watch this to start thinking more about these type of things. I, I just purchased that tea and then I showed it on my vlog. And then now I'm watching this and he's mentioning it. It's crazy. Let's continue. Literally like a hundred different biochemical reactions at least. And so there's been quite a few reports on people taking zinc and helping uh, regrow their hair and specifically the eyelashes. Now, if you're going to get a zinc supplement, hmm. I would highly recommend you get a quality zinc supplement in a blend of all the trace minerals. It's not much longer, just a couple minutes more. What did I just say? I was talking about castor oil. I'm telling you, if I, if I wasn't using that, my lashes would literally be gone. They would literally be gone. It's used as a skin moisturizer. Mm. It's also used as a I have one. I also use it to like grow my brows because I never had that much hair. Um, is but even though they still aren't really thick or long, I um I use them on my brows sometimes, but most of the night I do it on my lashes, and you will see an instant change. Zinc and castor oil. So that was good to listen to. We want beauty inside and out, okay? This is the NARS um, Biscuit. This is a soft matte complete concealer. I'm gonna use my concealer brush, my Sigma concealer brush. I was actually on YouTube yesterday and uh, Nima Tang um, finally came back to uh, YouTube. She had been off for quite a few months and I have been looking for, um, you know, just for her, you know, um, videos. And um, I always use the, um, where's, I think it's in my purse. I always use her Dose of Colors collection. But my favorite is the gloss that came in the collection. And so she got on there to say that it was a restocking. I was on there so fast to buy me another one, okay? I was excited. And um, it was so funny when she, when I was looking at her channel, I noticed basically, you know, that she hadn't been on there for a while. And she, even she was saying that, you know, she had to take her a little rest, basically. And so when I saw that she was kind of speaking some of the things that I was saying when I did my first video of 2022, um, I was like, okay, so I'm not tripping, okay? I'm not tripping here. If anybody's a true supporter, you definitely missed her on YouTube, you know? And I just was happy to see that I wasn't the only one. Like, I wasn't tripping. And so it was good to hear a, a big content creator get on and say that. So I, you know, it kind of confirmed and kind of solidified what I was saying. So it was good to hear that. 
and good to see her back on the platform. Oh, I love this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like this. This, uh, this concealer needs to be used a lot more. This is looking good. Oh, that combined together. Ooh. I was trying to use the Pat McBride, but I think this is the one I need to be using. Nikki Live. <laughs> I'm going to use this Sigma E05. It's an eyeliner brush. And I'm dipping into Deep Dive. And I noticed that the trend of everybody doing their eyeliner with a dark shadow. So I'm just going to line my eye really good right here. You guys, I was going to watch a show and then Nikki went live and I wanted to see what she was talking. Ooh, that's not too bad. All right, you guys. So I have this Rocal Beauty um, glue pen. And um, so I'm using the... I think these are my Ardell lashes. I think they're in the style 424, 424. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I'm gonna go on with this NYX. Um, it broke up. You see it kind of broke in there, but oh well. And it's uh, in the color Summer. forget about my morphe um it's a highlight and contour palette i keep forgetting about that shade in there that that could be me so i'm gonna go into um i think i i think i want to go into this shade or maybe this one i don't really want too much but maybe i'll go into this one right here take the fenty 120 highlighting brush and dip into venus This look is so much different from the look that I did yesterday. <laughs> I filmed it too. You guys will see it soon. You might end up seeing this vlog before you see the look that I did yesterday. But the other video that I filmed right before that was reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury, which I used today, which is already pretty much um, uploaded to my channel. I'm just going to use... I'm supposed to leave... Was I supposed to leave how long ago? Oh, no, no, I'm supposed to leave at 3.30. Okay, I'm good. I'm on good time. This is really one of those looks like an everyday look. It's a light look that will still take you a little time to put your work into, okay? All right, so now I'm about to head out too, so I'll check you guys out later. Peace.